Hi, I'm Don, and this is The Hobbyist Geek. Welcome back, y'all. Today is a special day. Oh, I've been waiting so long for this. I pre-ordered this like six months ago, uh, and I was waiting for the pre-orders to open up for months before that. Uh, and then it got delayed in the shipment. It was supposed to be here in January. Here it is the middle of May. And it is finally here. We have pack one of the Agora models, Optimus Prime. Uh, I cannot wait to get into this thing. It's supposed to be about uh, three feet tall, about the same size as the Terminator that we built. Uh, and I can't wait to see what this thing is gonna look like. Now, it's going to come in 12 monthly packs. So it's gonna be like a year before we finally finish it. But pack one, is finally here. So why don't we do a little bit of an unboxing and then we'll uh, try to build this pack for you. Okay, first things first, let's get this thing open and see what we've got. Okay. All right. We have, I'm guessing, wow, an instruction poster? Or maybe not, wow. Look at the size of this poster. Oh my. And I think that is supposed to be the actual size. And on the back side, we've got well, a whole bunch of specifications and the Agora promise. All kinds of, of uh, information. Let's see here. What's on this side? We have freedom is the right of all sentient beings. Woo! And in French. And I have no idea what that is. Is that German? I don't know. But it's cool. I love the, uh, the uh, uh, drawings here. Um, that's really reminiscent of G1 there. Now, if you take a look at uh, the model itself, that is a little bit of an inspired choice of G1. But, you know what? I think I can live with it. I can't wait to see what this thing is like all together. But we've got a ways to go before we get there. So let's put this away and see what else we got. We have us a pack of little pieces. It's a skull cap here. Uh, it comes with a little screwdriver. We won't be using that one. You can see some electronics and stuff. Uh, even got a battery pack. Uh, it looks like two double A's um, to get this part running. Uh, over here, we've got another pack of parts. Obviously, we've got his antenna, stuff like that. That really looks nice. That sparkly look to the metal there. I love the paint job. That's great. Uh, some plastic pieces on sprues. Man, we'll get, we'll get into the parts in more detail, of course, as we build. And then we've got these pieces. Uh-oh, we seem to be missing something here. So we've got three pa packs of parts here with some nice stuff and no instructions. No idea how to assemble this thing. Looks like I'm going to have to call Agora up. I have somewhat some good news here. I was able to find a downloadable version of the instructions. I don't know if this is the way they intend to do this moving forward, or if uh, this is just an exception and they didn't send me the instruction manual. If this is the way they intend to uh, do it moving forward, I'm actually a little upset. I prefer the paper instructions myself but we will make do. As you can see in this pack,
pack, pack one, we are going to be building the head and the chest here. So, great. We also have a list of all of the parts in each of the plastic bits with these very cryptic little identifiers. And then we begin the instructions. So, uh, let me uh, get some parts out here and we'll begin assembling the head. Okay, here are the parts we need for assembling the head, part one. Uh, I got good news and bad news. Good news is it looks fairly simple. Bad news is lots of glue required for this stage. Uh, all of these pieces came from tray one. And uh, we've got parts uh, 40, 39. Uh, this is one. Then uh, 11, 12 and three along with two of the PWM screws uh, to be used at the end. Um, first up, part 40 is gonna be glued into 39 here. It's just gonna go like this. Um, so you're gonna wanna glue this little tab and pop that right in. Um, now, I don't like doing glue on camera because the glue always takes forever and a day uh, to dry, even super glue, and I don't like making you guys wait. So, uh, I'm going to show you the parts that have to be glued together, and then I'll do those off camera and show you what the finished assembly is, and then we'll get on with the screws. So, this piece, 40, will go into 39 here. And then 39 is going to go on the back end right here. Um, the way it looks like it fits is just like so, okay? So, put some glue up on here, fit that puppy in just like this, and when we'll let it set. Now, 11 and 12 here are actually going to be glued together. So, you just want to orient them properly, and on the back of, uh, which one is this? 12. You see there's these four little pins. Get some glue on those. And you can see there are four holes. So you just punch all four of those in to those holes uh, appropriately. And then this little slot here is going to be glued into there. So there you go, just like that. We can just glue this whole bit back here together. Boom. Okay, just like this, you should be good to go. And that will take care of the glue part for this stage. And I'll be right back once all that's set. Okay, and here we have it all set. You can't really see the yellow and red little lights that are in there, they're not even lights, they're just de detail pieces. But uh, not too bad, not too bad. I like it. And now we're gonna put it onto this. Uh, you can see one side has that angled bit. This is flat, the angle goes for the front. Just slides right together, nice and neat. And you can see right in there, we got two holes for those PWM screws. I'm using a J00 size tip to assemble it. Okay, whew. I gotta tell you, those screws did not want to go in. I tried several different tips, but no, the J00 is the one that uh, fit the best and worked the best. But those screws had to come in and out several times to get it to the point where it was finally tight. But here we are at the end of part one of this head assembly. So we've just started and we're already running into difficulties. This is going to be a fun build. Okay, here we are with part two of the head build. Not a whole lot here. We've got uh, all from tray one again, 
Uh, we've got part 20, 21, this is 26, 1, 26 dash 1, and 17, 18, and two more of the PWB screws. And the good news is it looks like no glue required this time around. Uh, step one, we're going to take uh, the motor here. That's clearly what this is. And we're going to take part 21. We're just going to fit it right on top of that. And you can see it's got a keyed hole, so it should just fit nice and neat. If I can get it lined up properly, there it goes. Exactly the way I wanted it, but that'll work. And with that on there, we slide that through that hole just like this. And now we have to hold it all together. Keep in mind that this is kind of lining up with this here. I'm going to take 17 and looks like ah, it goes this way. So there's a little slot on that thing. That's going to be facing in. We're going to slide this in just like so. Basically, we're fitting a casing on. Boom. Ah! So you can see the casings on there. Uh, and it just slides in nice and neat. However, our little thing here slid off. So we've got to redo that. It's a bit of a balancing act on this puppy. Then we basically do the same thing on the other side with 18. So we'll slot that in. And you can see how it just slides in nice and neat and covers the whole assembly. Um, not entirely sure why we covered that, but okay. To each their own. Uh, now, with this assembled, looks like we're going to be using two screws, and those screws are going to go here and here. Alright, and those went in nice and neat, and we are good to go on part two. And here we are with the parts we need for part two three of assembling the head we have uh, all from tray one again 16 58 uh, 19 52 53 and 15 and two more of those pwb screws there is going to be a little glue required here uh, we'll get into that in just a minute but the first thing we're going to do is take 16 and 58 and we're just going to slide this in. Now this, as you can see, is molded to fit the slots for the eyes. So we're just gonna slide that in so that they slide right into the eyes just like that. Now here's where the glue comes in. We're supposed to glue these three posts and then we put this on top. Now you want to make sure this is oriented properly. Uh, you can see there are three holes here, but those holes go all the way through. Now this has a deeper cavity than this one, than this side. And you can see inside this cavity, you've got the uh, little spaces here for where the screw holes go. That's the side that faces in, in to this. So you can slide it in as a test fit to make sure that it's all good. And once you've done that, you just apply a little glue to those posts and glue it together. And I'll be right back when that dries. Okay, I don't know if it's fully dry, but it's enough for us to move on. Now taking these things, you can actually see uh, there's a post right there, one on the other side. On here, what you're doing is aiming for this hole here. 
not this one, this hole. And you want to align it so that this is actually coming out towards the back. And this post on the front is going towards the front on the inside. So it should look like that. And this is part 52. 53 goes on the other side. Same way. Same hole. Just like that. Next up, and this is a little bit of a balancing act, you can see there are two holes, there are two posts. I want to line those up and get those in. Somehow. There we go. And... Alright, so now that those are in, these screw holes should line up. And in my case, it looks like they do. So that's where those are going to go. They're going to come in from the outside, right through there, one on the other side as well. And we'll just screw this puppy together. All right. And here we have his face, and the mask can move slightly as it's supposed to. All assembled, and that actually finishes part three here. Okay. Whew. And here are all the parts that we need for part four of this build. Um, it's also come to my attention that they have two different sets of screws labeled PWB. One, they're both two millimeter by six millimeter screws. Uh, they both have flanged heads. The only difference is one is silver, one is black. And the instructions make no differentiation other than a slight slightly different color in the image of the instruction. So I've gone ahead and replaced all the ones that were wrong. This one uh, uses the silver and then the screws in both of these parts are black and all of the PWBs in this one are black. Now the black ones come from tray two. We also have a couple of other parts that come from tray two in here. Um, but uh, to go through them, we've got uh, part 25, 24, uh, 23, and 22. And then we have these uh, 33 and 34, which are basically bolts and nuts. Those come from tray 2. Then we've got part 30. Uh, and then this is 26, 2. Then 27. And this is one of the black PWB screws. Okay, then we have part 50 and uh, 51. Both of those are going to be attached with three of the black PWB screws. We've got another bolt and nut that will come in uh, a little later to when we're doing some cable management. And then we get up to parts two and then we get two of these part 14s and four screws to attach that at which point we will put the crest on and we got four more screws to attach that so we have a lot of parts to assemble here and we're basically putting everything everything together which is great we do need a little bit of super glue uh, but we'll showcase that when we get to it for now we're going to take Part 24 and 25 here, and we're basically going to slide this rubber cap over top the ball here. I like to make it about as even as I possibly can. And then we're going to take part 23, and looking at the instructions, it is incredibly difficult to tell. It looks like this is the orientation that it wants it in. Um, I mean, frankly, the instructions just are not very clear here. Uh, but it looks like this is the orientation that it wants it in. Uh, you can see we've got the flat bit here instead of the hollows. So I believe that is correct. We pick, take part 23. Um, you notice it's got the larger hole on the one side that's going to face towards the back. And that'll go on like this with part 22 coming along on the right. 
and we basically compress them together like that. At this point, we're going to want to take one of the bolts and slide that puppy through if we can. Let's see here. There it goes. And once it's through, you can see we want to put a nut on this side. So we'll go ahead and get that taken care of. Then we got another one that's going to go right there. And we finish it off with this, which is part 30. And the way they have it showcased is it's just basically just slid in here with the flat on it facing in that direction but it still leaves a little room for movement here so that's good um it does appear to be slightly keyed so if you look at it wow okay you can see there's some flat sides to it and the same on the hole so it is slightly keyed so it's not really going to go anywhere once that's in so let me go ahead and get these uh bolts and nuts in and we will move on. All right. Nuts and bolts in. Part 33 is assembled. We do have a bit of motion here, which is good. Moving on. We're going to take this, which they call assembly D. That's the motor. And we're going to go ahead and plug in one end of this cable, which is 26-2. I'm going to go ahead and undo this, because we are going to have to do some cable channel in a little bit. And these ends are different, so only one side is going to fit. And they're keyed, so it'll only go one way. All right, cable is in. And now, with that cable in, we're going to go ahead and take part E, which is the face here. And we're going to take part 27, which is going to be the LEDs. So you can see it's got the two LEDs on the one side. That is absolutely going to face towards the eyes. And effectively, it's going to line up like this with the cable coming up towards the top. We're going to use a PWB screw to screw that one in. Be gentle. You don't want to crack the circuit board. All right, look at that. Now we're going to take the motor here and in this orientation, okay, we're going to slide it in and it looks like what we're going to be trying to do here is get these pins right here to get into these slots right there. There we go. Nice and neat. Things are coming along nicely. Okay, next up, we're going to take they call part F. We're going to take part 50 here and we are going to put those together and in this case you can see the flat end here. There's a little flat slot so slides right in just like that. Nice and sturdy. Now that we have that we can flip this around and this will come in and line up there we go just like this there we go okay there are little indentations in here so you'll know you get it right whenever uh, you slide it in just properly all right and we've got three screws that we're going to have to throw in 
to hold this puppy in place. Here, here, and ah, if I can line it up, here. You notice there are also two pegs here, and those are going to slide in as well to hold everything in place. A little bit of a balancing act to make sure that we've got it all. But it can be done. We're going to take three screws and we will screw it in. Okay. And with this in place, we'll take 51 and it goes right on the other side in exactly the same fashion. All right. Look at that. That looks gorgeous. All right, for this next bit, we're gonna do a little bit of cable management. I've done one to kind of give you an example. This is actually much harder than it looks. This, the LED light will come down and it'll go right through here, down and around. You gotta wrap it around this little tab here and then it'll come down and underneath these two tabs. Uh, that'll give it enough leeway for the motion here. Uh, and still keep it secure. And then you want to do the same with this one. So, you know, you'll wrap it around and then underneath those tabs. And you are good to go. Okay, there you go. Cable management is complete. Now, once you've got that cable management, you're going to want to put a bolt through here and a nut in here to further secure the connection. Okay, kind of hard to see in there. You can see there's a bolt that goes right through. Man, you can't see anything in there. But there's a bolt that goes through right in that hole and we are good to go. Next up, we're gonna take TR1-02, that's this part right here. And we're gonna to have to, uh, sadly, glue these in place. Now it looks, as you can see, there's a slight bend up. And looking at this, Man, the instructions are not clear at all as to which direction this goes. This is not a perfect square. Um, so it definitely looks like it'll go in this direction. Let's see if this fits. Yeah, okay. So basically what we're doing is we're going to have to apply a little bit of glue on these little pins here. And it's really hard to see, but these pins are just a tad bit taller than these ones. So the narrow end here is where the low part of this goes. And it'll go right in there. The second one is the same on the opposite side. So you put those in and when you flip it over, you know, it looks like you've got little screws there. Uh, even though, of course, those are not screws, but they do have to be glued in. So we're gonna take these off, glue the pins, uh, put it back. I will come back when this has dried. Okay, now that we have these in place uh, and relatively dry, close enough, it's time to fit it. Now you can see right in here you've got an, a gapped opening and here is just flat. This is the narrow end, that's the wide end. The wide end goes towards the top of the head. This goes on the back. It's easiest to slide the bottom ones in. They're gonna line up with this hole 
and this hole on either side. And you slide the bottom side in and then just swing the top around, line it up so you've got your holes lined up on both sides and you throw in four of these black PWB screws. Now I'm a little bit concerned only in that uh, the slots here are not perfectly round. So what I'm going to do is put the screw in a little bit first and then push it to make sure it's all the way over and then tighten it the rest of the way. And I'm hoping that will make sure that everything is aligned when we finish assembling the head. And there you go. That back plate is nice and secure. And now we fit the crest on. And I'm, yep, there we go. Okay. Crest has got to fit on both sides. Now you notice there's some slots here. Those are going to want to line up with those holes. And then we've got two holes along the top here. And these little slots are going to slide in there. There we go. Nice and tight. Making sure everything lines up just right. And with everything aligned, uh, we're going to go ahead and throw in four more screws. Uh, nothing on the front. These are going into the sides, two on either side. And there we have it. Part four of this assembly is complete. You can see the mouth has just the slightest movement ability here. And we've got uh, our leads for the motor as well as the lights. And we still have full motion in the neck. So things are definitely looking up. And that completes part four. Okay, now before we go any further, and I probably should have done this earlier, we're going to test out some of the electronics. It does come with this little uh, test circuit board and a battery pack. As you can see, I have thrown four AA batteries into it. And we can just connect the leads. The good news is we don't even have to push them all the way in. As you can see, his eyes light just fine. Which, by the way, a uh, beautiful shade of blue for the Optimus eyes. I really, really do like that. And for the motor, for the mouth, there it is. Look at that thing go. It's pretty fast. I hope there's some voice to go with it later on. But for now, looks like our electronics are just fine. Okay, for part five here, we are going to be uh, putting together the antenna and attaching them to the sides of the head. And this will actually complete the head assembly. Now, each side is the same. And we're going to start off with the main antenna here. Uh, this is part nine, part four, and part six, along with one of the black PWB screws. For part nine, you can see there are uh, two little holes there and two posts here. So you're gonna to wanna to put a little glue on the posts and then you slap that in just like, just like that. For part six, it's hard to see, but there is a little post right there and that's gonna go into that hole, but you don't have to glue it because that will go right onto the side of the head here okay and it'll screw right into this post here and you can see there are two main holes here for these two posts so that it will be nice and stable and then we're going to repeat that for the other side 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and speed up this process and then we'll be right back. And here we go. Antennas fully assembled and attached. Uh, and at this point in the build, this is where things get a little iffy for me. You see, we're going to be taking part eight right here. We're going to have to put it into these two holes here. Um, obviously, you want to test fit first. Make sure that you've got this just right. But perhaps the most important part is these are supposed to be glued in. Now, if you mess up the glue in any way, uh, it, it's going to stick to the metal part of this model. And then you're never going to be able to get this off if you need to take it apart for any reason. But uh, that's going to get even worse once we get to these pieces, because those pieces are going to be glued in here and cover that screw. And at that point, you're, you're basically done. Um, you're never going to get this thing apart again. Um, not, in my opinion, uh, a, a, a good trade-off. You know, I don't like gluing things that prevent us from disassembly. But uh, it, it, it is what it is. It is what it is. So, for now, let's go ahead and get this thing glued on, and then we'll move on to these. All right, that's in. The glue isn't fully dry, but that's okay. I don't think it's going to be going anywhere at this time. Now, for these pieces, uh, this is 41 and this is 13. Each piece is identical. Uh, make sure you got some good snips here to cut them out. All right, here they are. Now that they're cut out, bring a couple of them in close. Uh, you can kind of see on this, there is a flat side to this. So this is a keyed piece and it's going to go into here. Should only fit one way. Yeah, so it's pretty much locked in. And of course, you'll have to glue it in place. And once it's been glued in place, you can take a look here, and there's a large hole and a small hole, and you've got a large peg and a small peg. And those are going to fit in there, and you're going to have to glue those in as well. And that is the part that kind of scares me a little bit, because as you can see, this doesn't really want to go in real well. And that's just the test fit. Um, heck, it doesn't even want to come back out again. All right. So once fully assembled, it looks like it is flush, except for this uh, hu center hub here on the silver bit. And that is fully in place. So what I'm going to do and this is my personal preference, is I'm just going to glue the silver to the yellow, and then I'm going to press it in there, and we're going to see how sturdy it holds. Um, if it's good enough, then it's good enough. If it falls out, you know, when it's tilted or maneuvered or whatever, I'm going to have to glue it in there. But uh, let's hope that it is sturdy enough. Okay, here we go. Uh, also important to note, on the back of these, there are numbers. This is a little one, and this one is a little two. And uh, the one goes on the left side of the head. Just like that. Okay, it's holding. It's not perfect, but it's holding. Let's see. Two? Heck, two is it holding even tighter. Maybe we can... Oh, damn. Spoke too soon. A 
looks like I don't know. We'll leave it for now. If it falls out again, I'll have to glue it. But that said, here we go. That is a completed Optimus Prime head. How freaking awesome is that? And now we can move on to the chest. Okay, now the instructions don't actually separate the chest into separate parts like they did with the head. So uh, I'm going to kind of make my own divisions here. Uh, it's important to note that there are actually going to be um, two identical pieces of the chest. So I'm only going to show the assembly for one because the second one's going to be exactly the same. But the first thing we need to do is assemble the lights. And um, these are, there, there's going to be four of them, two for each side. So basically we're going to go through this and then we have to repeat it three more times. So first up we need to take part 47 here and cut it from the sprue and then we'll take one of these uh part 63 here and we're gonna string that thing through okay now you can see one end's got an LED, the other end has a connection, electrical connection. We're going to take the connection and we're going to slide that puppy through. I'm going to pull it all the way through here. And then we'll take the LED and we're going to just mount it right in here. You may need to do a little bend of the cable, it'll be fine. But when you're done, it'll look a little something like this, okay? At that point, we're going to take one of these part 46s here, and we're going to take a part 62. I'm going to have to cut this from the sprue. You can see there's a, uh, a valley here, a concave bit, and then this is uh, a little more protruding. The protruding end goes in, so we're going to come in from the back, and we're going to put this right in. There are some little guides along the side that will go into these slots so that it goes all the way down to the bottom. Now at this point, Ah, my carefully wired LED. Now at this point, I'm going to slide this thing, and you can see there's a little slot there, and it's hard to tell, but there's a little pin right in there. That'll go right in that slot. And then... We take one of these, which is part 48, and that will slide on the other side. You can see there are three pins on this one and another slot, which should help it all fit together. If we can balance it so the LED doesn't pop out while we're trying to get this done. All right, and with that in place, we can take one of these these are part 49. And now here's where you're going to need a little super glue. The super glue will go uh, right in here so that it will hold it in place once you've placed it on. It is keyed so it only goes one way. Uh, do a test fit first as I am because it doesn't seem to want to go in. Man, almighty. Oh well, super glue will hold that in place, I'm sure. But before we do this, it's 
bring out the battery pack and the test circuit and make sure the LED actually works. And it does, or there it goes, and it does. So the LED is working just fine. We can glue this together and then we repeat it three more times. And here we have four fully assembled, fully tested lights for the chest. And here we go, y'all. We're on the final stretch. Uh, this is all of the parts we'll need to complete the first half of his chest. We're going to start off by taking two of the lights that we built. And we're going to take part 56 here. What we're going to want to do, you can see there's a hollow on one side and it's solid on the other. You want the wire to go through the hollow and you want the light facing the flat side. And basically it's just going to clip into that hole. We're going to do that for both of these posts. Okay, there we go. Both are plugged in. Just uh, as a safety measure, make sure there is a number one on this. And then we're going to take part 37. And part 37 also has a one. It's right there. And if you take a look up here, you can see there is a big post and two small posts. The two small posts is what we're aiming for with these two pegs that are right here. They're really hard to see black on black, but there's two pegs there. Now we're supposed to glue those in, so make sure you get it right. As far as the cables go, make sure they are coming out of these cutout slots and not trapped in between. So let's go ahead and get that glued in. All right, and with that in place, what we're going to want to do is take this cable, and we're going to bring them over this way, down the side, and then we're going to wind them up through here, like this, and then bend it all the way through just like that. And once we've done that, we're going to take part 54 here, and this is a hinge, as you can see. And that hinge, it's going to go on here, and you can see there's a little bit of a hollow. That's where the cables are going to go on the inside. And I believe the hinge part goes... Ah! Yeah, just like that. Oof! And it's uh, actually a little more difficult to maneuver than it looks. But as you can see, it kind of fits just like this with the cables coming in through the inside. And then we're going to use two of the black screws to hold it in place. All right. <clears throat> we're going to want to try and keep these cables tight as best we can. I'm going right through there just like that. And right, next up, we're going to take part 55 here. And you can see this one's got a tab, this one's got a slot. Slot goes on top when looking at this direction. You want the cables to go this way. You can see there are two, po two holes there and there are two posts here. So do a little test fit to make sure that it goes in nice and neat and keep those cables as tight as you can. And the cable should come out this way. And then, yes, you're going to have to glue uh, this together. Okay, now we've got this drying here. Now I gotta tell you, this does not want to stick. I don't know if it's my glue is getting bad or what, but uh, I don't think it's fully dry yet, so I'm gonna let it dry and hopefully not touch it. Hopefully it'll stay when it's done. But next up, we've got part uh, 64 here. Now these are magnets. There's two of them here. And what we're gonna wanna do is separate them if you can. These are very small magnets. There we go. <clears throat> and right here and right here, they're going to have to be glued into place. And there you have it two magnets firmly glued 
into place. Next up, <clears throat> we're going to take part 36. This is actually metal here. We're just going to slide that on here, just like so. One, two, three, four, and we're going to be using silver screws this time to keep this in place. And there you have it. Another part assembled. Hey, it looks like this is finally stuck on there. Even better. All right, now we're going to be putting the window on. I was kind of hoping I could leave the plastic over this, but it looks like that's not going to be the case. As you can see, there is a little bit of a tab on this piece. This is piece 59, this is piece 43. If you look real close, I don't know if that's showing up on camera, there's a notch right there. There's where that tab goes. Uh, no need to glue it according to the instructions, it's just a push fit. There we go. Now, this also has these little hooks here. So this is a push fit onto here. Make sure that this is facing towards the bottom. And we can push this thing in. No glue required yet. There we go. Look at that. Now we've got our windshield. Next up, we'll take the windshield wiper. And we're going to need to put a little glue on that post right there. And it will go right in here. Uh, it does not appear to be keyed, however. So I guess you can put it however you wish to put it. Uh, I, of course, want it. Pretty low, about like this. So I'm going to glue it in place just like that. It actually does fit fairly well without the glue, so you may not want to use it. That's up to you. And there you have it. One windshield wiper assembled. Next up is this. And this is a sticker. Okay. Uh, you're going to want to make sure that it, you know, fits properly, just like that. And when you're sure, take off the backing and stick that puppy in place. All right, almost done. Last but not least, we're going to be taking part 61 here. We're going to be putting it into part 45. And just like the front windshield, these, this is a push fit, and then it's got the little clips. And those clips will go in there to hold it in place. Boom, there you have it. All done. And that actually completes one side of his chest. And now we just repeat the whole process to get a second one. And here it is. Both halves of the chest completed. It looks something like this when it is complete. Uh, man, look at that. That definitely evokes the cartoon. Uh, I particularly like the hinges on this side. Uh, and, you know, they just hinge open. I believe the matrix will be in there. Um, uh, if you weren't doing it as you build, please remember to constantly, constantly, constantly test the electron. No, oh, excuse me. Constantly test the electronics. Uh, as you are building and through each of these phases and steps. Um, 
Let's uh, go ahead and bring some of this in for a closer look. We can take a look at the head here and I mean this is an excellent little design on the crest. You can see the yellow and red in there. Uh, I particularly like the paint on this. This, I mean, that just really looks good. Really looks good. The yellow definitely contrasts with the blue. I'm not sure I like that yellow, though. Yellow does not have the sparkly presence of the blue there. Um, most of the crest here is metal, by the way. Uh, really, the only part that's not is the inside of this particular spike and this design here and back here. Those are really the only non-metal parts of the entire helmet. Now everything inside here, this is plastic, okay? Um, as is the neck support here. So, <clears throat> um, but that does, you know, because the, the helmet is all metal, this is a pretty heavy piece. And you can see there's just a simply an amazing amount of detail here. I love the movable mask here. I am assuming it will go with some speech program that will be coming later. On the back, you've got these wonderful little designs here. Uh, you've got this nice silver highlight going right along the center of the crest. I mean, all in all, this is beautiful. Uh, I do think the head is just a tad spiky for my taste and these are too far angled back. I like them a little more straight up. Uh, but all in all, a beautiful, beautiful head. The chest pieces, and these are just mirror images of each other. You know, they've got this wonderful silver windshield wiper, the silver frame going around. I have noticed right down here, there's a little bit of a uh, paint issue. I didn't notice it when I was assembling it, but it's definitely there now. Um, it doesn't bother me too much. I mean, it's not particularly visible unless you're looking really, really, really closely. But I hope we don't run into similar problems as we move forward. The red itself has got that wonderful sparkle uh, look to it. Uh, this is metal. The red part is metal, uh, except for the light casings up here, but the frame, the windows, and everything in the back is all plastic. Do have these magnets here, I'm assuming for whenever we close it, it'll snap shut and keep it uh, nice and secure. And we got the hinge here, along with the leads for the lights. Uh, I mean, there's not a whole lot more to it. The side uh, window here, um, really you're just looking at that red sticker we had to place I and mean, there's not a whole lot to it uh, though the silver paint along the the frames has that same sparkly uh, sparkly look to it that the red has uh, which is I mean it, it really it, it just stands out it looks great uh, I cannot wait to see what comes next unfortunately we have to wait a month to get pack two uh, and we had to wait six months to get this but I'm happy with it so far. Uh, I really love to know what you guys think. Uh, do you think this was worth it, the wait? Are you excited to see what comes next? Let me know in the comments. And if you like the video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Have a great day.